What's up guys, it's your girl Brianna aka Mini Marley and last weekend I went to Afro Punk Fest so I thought I would film a quick get ready with me and mini vlog of my first Afro Punk experience and I also wanted to show you guys how I did the braided headband that was in my last braid out tutorial. So jumping right in, I started with my eyebrows and I just used this Morphe brow palette that I've been using. I absolutely love it because it has so many good shades for any different brow color and I also am using my MAC Pro Conceal palette to go ahead ahead and outline my brows and define the shape. Now that the brows are done, I'm using the NYX Born to Glow Illuminating Primer. This was my first time using it and it was okay, it did the job. Now going back into my MAC Pro Conceal palette, I'm taking that orange shade and using it to hide all of my dark marks and blemishes. Now, this was my first time using the Sasha Buttercup powder to go ahead and set my concealer, making sure that it doesn't move when I put on my foundation, and I absolutely love this. I'm gonna be doing this all the time from now on. And then I'm just using my regular schmegular regular Studio Fix Fluid foundation from MAC. Now I'm going in with this concealer by MAC and I will list the name of all of these products in the description box if you want to know exactly what I'm using. But I'm just going ahead and applying this concealer to all of the highlighted areas on my face, under my eyes, my forehead, chin, cupid's bow, and down my nose. And then I'm taking this damp beauty blender and I'm just going to use that to blend this out. So I was running a little bit late this morning so I had to do a little multitasking while I was doing my makeup but anyway back to your scheduled programming. The next thing that I'm going to do is contour this face using my matte concealer as well. I love this shade it just gives me the perfect contour it's not too crazy but it's just nice and subtle and just really defines my face. And then I'm going to go ahead and blend that out as you can see I'm just pushing that into the hollow points on my cheek and I also went ahead and um, blended this out on my forehead and along my jawbone. Now I'm just using my beauty blender to blend my highlight and my contour together and make sure that everything looks flawless. I'm going back into the Sasha Buttercup powder and I'm just setting under the eye. I'm not baking today, I'm just really setting everywhere that I highlighted. Of course, I'm using my same Ofra powder to go ahead and set the contour on my face and bronze it up, making sure that it looks nice and even with the rest of my face. Now I'm going into my new favorite blush by NYX, this ombre brush which you've seen before. And I'm just going to go ahead and blush up my cheeks. And again, I'll list the name of all of these products below. The next thing that I'm going to do is set my face with my MAC setting spray. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some Betty Luminizer highlighter. And it wasn't completely enough for me, so I went ahead and added some MAC Gold Deposit on top of it as well. Now I'm going into my MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash and I'm adding a couple layers of mascara because I don't really like to use any eyeliner and then I'm just taking a regular brown eyeshadow and defining my crease a little just to put something on my eyelids so that they're not bare. Then I went into my Anastasia Glow Kit and added a little inner corner highlight and that's pretty much it for my makeup. So for the hair, I went ahead and did my braid out. If you did not see my braid out tutorial, definitely go check out my last video where I I show you exactly how I got to this point but now I'm just gonna show you how to create a braided headband so I'm just taking some jumbo braiding here any kind of braiding here is fine I'm just using about a third of that package about this much then I'm just gonna create a knot right in the center of the hair just to make it easier for me to braid now I'm just braiding the hair from that knot all the way down to the ends and 
and this is what your braid should look like when you're done nice and thin you don't have to do it this size you can do it as thick or as thin as you want but this is the way I did it then I just went ahead and positioned this on my head exactly where I wanted it to lay and then I kind of looped the end of that braid through the top of the braid and just went ahead and pinned that down. I used about four bobby pins to make sure that this was nice and secure. Then I also pinned it down in the front so that it didn't move from where I wanted it. And this is pretty much it. Super quick and easy and I can always use this braid over and over and over. Baby, tell me how you like it. So if you want to see a little bit of my first Afropunk experience, then sit back and enjoy this mini vlog. Peace out guys, and I'll see you in the next video. In West Philadelphia, born and raised on the playground of there I spent most of my days Chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool and all shooting some b-ball outside of the school When a couple of guys who were up to no good Started making trouble in my neighborhood I got in one little fight and my mom got scared I said, you're moving with your auntie and uncle in Bella I picked and played it with her, they had the neighbor She packed my suitcase and sent me on my way She gave me a kiss and then she gave me my ticket I put my walkman on and said, I might as well kick it First class, shit, what is this bad? Drinking orange juice out of a champagne glass Is this what the people of Bel Air live like? Hmm, this might be alright Wait, I hear the Percy, who is lying all that? Is the type of place that they just send this cool cat? I don't think so, I see when I get there I hope they're prepared for the Prince of Bel Air Prince of Bel Air Been ripping on, went 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 on,